The following presentation is brought to you by Rise to the Rescue, supporting Joe Glean, a prospective delegate for Virginia's 44th House District. Americans have found themselves caught in a situation where the Constitution is ignored and phony, liberalized political edicts are treated as if they had the legitimacy of law. What makes the situation worse is that all of this happens to be a violation of moral principle as well. It represents a willful neglect for the preeminence of natural law. We are allowing ourselves to be led over a cliff by corrupt politicians on both sides of the aisle who have allowed the integrity of our Constitution to be compromised for the sake of preserving their seats of political power. They take away our rights and hold them ransom in exchange for our votes. They exploit our inalienable, God-given rights, using them as political bargaining chips. They look upon themselves as rulers over the people, their subjects, promising that so long as we stay loyal to the political parties and promise to keep them in power, then they will gladly return some of our lost rights. On the whole, however, our rights are held hostage, being redistributed back only to those who are willing to go along with the game by participating and providing their political support. We see antics of this nature all the time. There are countless instances where our constitutional rights have been taken captive under government regulation and then incrementally given back to us so long as we are willing to subject ourselves to the implementation of unconstitutional regulatory power. What we fail to realize sometimes is that these problems are not independent of one another. They are all part of the same tyrannical method that's been imposed on us by the political parties for years. This is why I believe and continue to say that free America must unite if we ever hope to rid ourselves of these self-appointed rulers. Whether our pet doctrine is cracking down on illegal immigration, abolishing the state income tax, defending our right to bear arms, prosecuting voter fraud, restoring our moral sovereignty, protecting the right to homeschool our children, reviving the notion of self-determination and self-governance in health and wellness, or advocating food freedom. We must all come together under the banner of freedom, advocating for the restoration of America's founding principles, even if it means having to shed our party label at the ballot box. We must cast aside the special interest mentality, put away the element of fear and distrust we have of one another, and come together in one spirit for the sake of restoring America's founding principles. Early on, my campaign was endorsed nationally by the Affiliations Committee of America's Independent Party, Black America's Political Action Committee, and the American Right to Life Action Board. My campaign was endorsed statewide by the Independent Greens of Virginia. More recently, Dennis Vusaro, chairman of the Virginia Citizens Defense League Political Action Committee, issued an urgent press release calling attention to my campaign saying that it is one of two races in Virginia that deserve special note. In this statement, he highlighted my 100% pro-gun advocacy, chided my Republican opponent, John Barsa, for his refusal to take a stand on the issue, and expressed firm disapproval over the fact that the Democrat incumbent is almost 100% anti-gun. Daryl Berkey, Director of Research for ARTL Action, 
issued a statement on behalf of the organization's board, saying that they see in me the kind of leader who has the courage to fight for the truth and for the innocent, adding that my advocacy of the personhood and God-given right to life of the unborn child deserves to be heard at the State House. Kimberly Hartke, one of Northern Virginia's strongest advocates of food freedom, posted a message to her Facebook friends saying, Check this out. An independent candidate for state office in Virginia stumping for raw milk access. If you live in Alexandria, Mount Vernon, or Fort Belvoir, and believe in raw milk, this is your man. My campaign also received special mention from the Alexandria Tea Party in their election 2011 newsletter. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the fog that's been cast by the political parties, we must remember, as each of these endorsements demonstrate, that freedom is our common bond. If you want to be represented by an ordinary citizen who shares your moral values and who advocates the restoration of America's founding principles, then I'm going to need more than just your vote on Election Day. I'm going to need you to get the word out to your friends, your family, your neighbors, everyone you know. Tomorrow's the big day, and friends, without your active support in my campaign, I'm afraid there will be little hope for success at the polls. But if we are to restore hope for the future, this campaign must succeed. Not because of who I am, but because of what I stand for, and because of what this campaign represents. My name is Joe Glean. If it helps, think mean Joe Glean. Independent candidate, pro-life conservative, political activist, on the ballot by voter petition. I am the pro-life conservative, and I'm the only complete bona fide conservative on the ballot. Remember, mean Joe Glean when you go to cast your vote on election day.